Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome or welcome back to our channel and welcome to a sneak peek of our bedroom. So Dusty and I have been in nesting mode as of late. Baby S is on his or her way. My due date is December 22nd. We're putting together the nursery and we've had to clear out a lot of closet space. So I thought I would take this opportunity to show you guys some of my very favorite products. And you can consider this, I guess, a 2018 eco-friendly, vegan, sustainable gift guide. So let's get going. So what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is a handful of hats, purses, jewelry, clothing, handbags, you name it. All of these fall under one, if not all of the categories from zero waste to eco-friendly, sustainable, slow fashion, small business, local business, vegan, cruelty-free, recycled, upcycled, organic, oh, the list goes on. How can we check all of the boxes? While it's impossible to be perfect, you can become a more conscious consumer and that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is some of the unique companies and brands and products that I've found that I absolutely have fallen in love with. This is all totally my taste, my style, and things that I think you guys might enjoy getting for yourself or gifting to a loved one this holiday season. Okay, so like I said, there are a lot of categories that we're all expected to check off when we are being conscious consumers, but I think my number one most favorite is supporting small business and local business, and while I could come up with a thousand of those for where we live here in Lincoln, Nebraska, I'm just gonna throw a couple of my absolute favorites out there. So I just recently went to this girl boss holiday party and it was hosted by my friend Alicia of Wax Buffalo. So these actually cross over into the vegan product category too because these are soy candles. And I just love the logo, the marketing of them, and they all smell incredible. So be sure to check out Wax Buffalo. Another sweet gift I got at the holiday party was by my friend Caitlin of Owl People. And she actually told me that these bracelets are dyed using avocado pits, which is super awesome. Love it. And then one more local business that is very near and dear to Dusty and I's hearts is actually Love Justice. So they're not like a clothing company or anything like that. They actually help to fight human trafficking all across the globe, but they are based right here in Lincoln, Nebraska. So if you're looking for a good charitable organization with a Christian background to donate to, especially during this time of the year, it's especially important to reach out and help others, then I would definitely check out Love Justice. Okay, so also under the small business category, these guys aren't local, Dandelion Textile. They make incredible Turkish towels. I use this as a throw blanket, I use it as a scarf, you name it. You can even use it after your shower, you can take it to the beach. This is my seriously favorite. I wear this anywhere and everywhere if I think I'm gonna be cold, which I know I'm going to. <laughs> Another small business that I love, these guys are out of LA. It's called I'm With The Headbands. So they make these awesome wrap headbands. I'll splice in a cute picture. Love, love, love these. They have all kinds of different colors and fabrics. And this scarf is from there as well. And these guys kind of fall into the slow fashion category as well. So slow fashion is the opposite of fast fashion, obviously. So you shop at places like Forever, Forever 21, H&M, yada yada. And obviously you get great deals. And obviously every time you go in the store, it's brand new. There's new stuff. And it's so easy to just fall into the habit of buying whatever is fashionable rather than having your own sense of style and buying things that are going to last. So on that note, slow fashion, we also have these cute little poof ball earrings, which I absolutely adore. These are by a company called Kith and Whim, great small company to support. And they actually just sent me this super cute shirt, which I'm sure you'll see on my Instagram feed soon. So definitely check out all of their clothing and accessories. And I just got a couple of things from a company in LA called Daisy LA. 
They are super adorable. This was not a collab and I actually had to wait quite a while because definitely slow fashion. They were made to order for me. Love, love, love these. And I also got this made to order necklace from them. Super cool. I wish I knew how to make something like that. <laughs> these are also not a collaboration. I did buy these, but they're definitely slow fashion. The company is called Daughters of Culture. So these are jumpsuits. You'll obviously see these if you haven't already seen them on my Instagram feed. Um, these were made to order. It took kind of quite a while to get them, but I absolutely love them, especially with my baby bump because I fit into them and they're super comfortable. <laughs> so something else that dictates my conscious consumerism is companies that are charitable or they have a message or a mission or they give back. So one of my favorites that I collaborated with last year is Love Your Melon. So for each beanie that gets purchased, they donate one to somebody in need. Definitely check their website out. I love, love, love a good beanie in the winter because like I said, I'm always cold. <laughs> and like I said, I already mentioned Love Justice being a great company with a message. And of course, we all know and love Tom's. So these are all vegan Tom's shoes. And for every pair you buy, they give a pair to somebody in need. So I've got just like the basic style. And then I love these ones because they have the hemp stitching on the sole. And then these are my most recent favorites. They're covered in bow hair. <laughs> but I really, really love the yellow. It's perfect for this time of year. Another great brand is People Shoes. So they do some that kind of look, these kind of look like the Adidas sandals. These kind of look like um, Birkenstocks. These are kind of Adidas style again, but these are all like the most lightweight vegan shoes on the planet. They're so comfortable. I love them all. Okay, you guys, so Dusty had to stop me when I said I had no vegan leather shoes. He actually beat me to the punch. So he's got these Wills vegan leather boots that he wears to work in and they are super nice. And they're actually sending us each a couple pairs soon so hopefully they get here and we can include those as well i'm so pumped to finally have some and finally i have one more pair of shoes to share with you guys and these are for cycling or spinning indoors and i do a lot of that especially since being pregnant a lot of stationary bike because it's low impact and great cardio workout so these are by pearl izumi they are incredible. I like them because instead of a Velcro strap, they have this, what's called a boa. So this is just a little dial that you can tighten your shoes with. So these are all synthetic, no leather, cruelty free, super sleek and comfortable and super easy to put on just like that. So these guys are my absolute favorite brand for cycling gear. Moving on, next category is products that are recycled or upcycled. So my favorite is this backpack. This is by Charlie Feist out of London, and it is actually made out of recycled water bottles. So obviously this is fabric, but this part is a vegan leather, and it's like a super nice soft quality. And it's gonna be loud. <laughs> I love the inside being this bright orange color. And this is the bag that I usually bring with me to the coffee shop and put my laptop in there and all my other goodies. So check out their bags, they're awesome. Like I said, recycled water bottles, which also I did have a pair of leggings. I think they were by Tiki, but I could not find them for the life of me. They were these cool leopard print ones, but check out Tiki. Now we are on to the category that everybody always wants to know more about, vegan, especially when it comes to accessories like handbags and hats. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick run through of my absolute favorites. I already mentioned Charlie Feist out of London. All of their stuff is vegan. And then Pixie Mood, this is another favorite for the coffee shop. This tote is awesome because it also comes with this little crossbody bag inside that matches and it comes in various different colors. I just really like this nude, nude pixie mood. <laughs> and then this one I was actually super pumped to find at Athleta and I fell in love with it. It's like kind of a neoprene material and then I was wondering if the straps were vegan so I asked and then after digging through and looking at the tag I found that it actually said vegan leather. So 
It comes with this cute little thing on the inside and a shoe pocket. So this would be ideal for bringing maybe on a beach vacation or if you're me, then you bring it to the gym or the coffee shop. Moving on to these smaller, more formal bags. Angela Roy. So the color of this bag is gorgeous. This one is all vegan. It's like the softest, most malleable leather. Great color for the holidays. This one is probably my most formal. I really love it. And then also, Matt and Nat is another fantastic vegan leather handbag company. This one I love to bring to work. It's really nice and sleek. So this cute little number is actually from Gap. And while it wouldn't fall into the slow fashion category, it's definitely vegan leather. So Dusty and I always laugh because pleather used to be so just not cool, but now everything is marketed as vegan leather, which is super awesome. It's a step in the right direction. And I'm so glad that companies like Gap are getting on board. Finally, my most current fave that actually goes great with my straw hats. Again, can't wait for like a tropical getaway. This is by Samara. So they do have some vegan leather items, but I was just always constantly searching for a bag like this, but I couldn't find any with leather straps. And lo and behold, they came into my life somehow magically. So I had to buy this one, actually collaborating with them. So I will have another one that's a vegan leather purse. So stay tuned for that. Okay, you guys, so I'm back again because I actually collaborated with a couple of brands and just got some brand new bags that I did not want to leave out. This one is also by Samara or Samara. So this one is awesome because it's a little bit more suited for this time of the year. I love how small it is and it's got plenty of compartments. So again, the vegan leather is just such great quality compared to how it used to be. Love this little bag. And then a brand new company that I collaborated with is Lee Corin. And this one is awesome. I thought it would be great for the holidays. It's a cute little sleek bag that you could bring to a fancy dinner or a show. So really love that one. And this one is actually a vegan suede. So it feels so, so soft, just like regular suede would. And it's cruelty free. So super excited to sport that one for the holidays. And then this is another Matt and Nat. This is just a little mini backpack, which I thought would be perfect for running errands with baby, keeping a little bottle, whatever little diapers or things that I might need if I'm going to run some quick errands. So really, really loving this. And I am obsessed with the color. Super cute, so nice, such soft vegan leather. Check this one out. All of these will be linked below. So moving on to more vegan accessories. These are three of my favorite vegan watches. So this one is Vach. They do all vegan leather straps and I absolutely love this neutral color. And then last year, Daniel Wellington asked me to collaborate and I asked them for vegan options. They did have plenty of fabric straps, which I actually preferred anyway, so I've been wearing this a lot. And then Piper West also had a vegan leather. It's incredibly soft and I love the color. This is an awesome hat by Gigi Pip. So if you guys have heard of Ginger Parish, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, check her out on Instagram. While not all of the Gigi Pip hat collection is vegan, they do have some felt. I was able to find a ton of awesome straw hats, which I prefer, especially because I'm getting super amped up for our Costa Rica retreat in March, link below. <laughs> but I really, really love the straw hats anyways. So this one might be my favorite. I really like this. I'll actually punch in the names of these as well so you guys know what to look for on the website. So then we've got this one with the cute detailing on it. Another one kind of similar, but it has a curled brim which is awesome. I kind of like to wear these a little bit further back on my head. <laughs> this one actually looks like fall to me. Makes me think of walking in the fall leaves in New York. So those are some great straw vegan hat options. Obsessed with all of them. With big time companies jumping on board, Something you'll want to look for is Down Alternative, which a lot of these big name brands, like again, Gap, are jumping on board with. Yeah, it says the luxury Down Alternative. Looks like Down, feels like Down, warm like Down. So it's called Prima Loft. 
Love this coat, I wear it everywhere. So this vest is by New Balance, another big name, and again, it's down alternative, and it is so soft inside and out. I love, love, love this vest, I wear it everywhere. And then another thing is faux fur. So this is from Banana Republic, not slow fashion, but it does check off the vegan box and it's so cute and warm and cozy. I just feel like a big cuddle bear. <laughs> so don't be afraid to check out some of these chains or these big time companies because they are making moves in the right direction. So now we've covered ways that you can get around felt and fur and down. What about wool? So I shop for cardigans that are wool free. This one is from Ruli. Again, this yellow mustardy color is just my favorite right now. So with the holidays coming up, I am super excited that we have our own Eat Move Rest products on the list. These are actually recycled cotton totes. As you can see, they're very fitting. This one is Nurture Nature, and in the vein of being super healthy and plant-based, we have Eat Plants, as well as Go Green, which you can take as going vegan, going plant-based, or just being more sustainable and eco-friendly. You'll want to stock up on these. They make great gifts and they're perfect for taking to the grocery store. I always leave them in the back seat of my car so I can grab and go no matter what store I run into. Perfect for the farmer's markets. We actually have a holiday harvest market coming up so I can't wait to sport these for that. They're also great for beach totes, for traveling, you name it. So not only is there recycled cotton, you can also purchase organic cotton which is super important because cotton a lot of times is genetically modified and I am by no means an all organic cotton wearer, <laughs> but it is pretty awesome when companies step up and say, hey, we're gonna make clean products that are also sustainable and fair trade. So this is by Prana. This is one of my favorite cardigans. I know you guys have seen this on my feed. So if you ever run into me at the coffee shop, you can be sure I'll be sporting this. <laughs> And then they also make tons of great yoga stuff. So this is great for getting sweaty in. And I love the yellow color again, perfect for this time of year. Goes great with my Toms. And this flannel, which is the softest thing I have ever felt. There's all kinds of brands out there doing the organic thing, even bedding now. So when we bought our baby stuff, when we do a a baby favorites video. I'll show you guys the bedding that we got. It is organic cotton, so again, super important. So these t-shirts that I'm gonna show you guys check almost every box. They're made in the USA, they're vegan, support a good positive message, they have a mission. So my friend Taryn, she goes by Vegetarian on YouTube, has the cutest vegan t-shirts. And what better way to represent than someone who is obsessed with friends and watches reruns to this day than a fruits tea. <laughs> and then this one I also am so obsessed with, this NASA vegan tea. So you can find these all on her website. Like I said, all the links are below. This one I love to put with that yellow cardigan, the Never Met Herbivore shirt. Super, super adorable. So check all of these out, they make great gifts. Last two things you will never ever see me without are a glass water bottle. This one is by Contigo and my blue blocker computer glasses. So these are Baxter Blues. So I love these because they filter out the blue light from screens and it helps you to get better sleep. It doesn't interfere with your hormones, especially at bedtime. These are a must. And actually they are sending you guys a special discount code. You can get free express shipping. So I'll put that in the link below as well as a link to my 2018 conscious consumer holiday gift guide on the blog at eatmoverest.com. So click there and you will find a bunch of these as well as tons of other photos and even more product favorites. Yes, I am a woman of many hats, <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this type of video, a little bit more lifestyle, if maybe you wanna see some of our baby favorites or nursery favorites, maybe our kitchen favorites, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button up in the corner if you're not already a part of the Eat Move Rest fam. And make sure you've got that bell click, that'll turn on your notifications and you will get alerted whenever we put out fresh content here on this channel. As always, leave me some love in the comments below and follow Dusty and I daily on Instagram and across all social media at DB Stanzik and at Erin Stanzik. 
And soon enough, you guys are going to get to meet our little one. We can't wait and happy holidays. Bye guys.